Welcome back to the Glint Standard. I'm Craig. This is Ryan. Um, we're going to be touching on the topic of uh, work-life balance today. So you, as you start to think through work-life balance, it means a lot of different things for a lot of different people, right? Mm -hmm. um, different generations think of it in a different way, too. You know, my parents probably think of it in a different way. We're going to three or four now. You have a daughter, so yeah. now we're, you know, we're getting even deeper into it, right? Yeah. And, and it's going to be different as they grow up, right? And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer here. And I think a lot of uh, there are strong opinions in my generation, strong opinions in your generation. Mm -hmm. I don't think either are right. I don't think either are wrong. What I think is interesting is how we most are unable to find the greatness in both and try to marry it together, which is what we're trying to do here, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's very hard because you, you want to work hard all your life, every day, late at the office to get to retirement and do nothing, right? I, that doesn't seem like a great life. It doesn't no. sound good. No. You know? No, and I think, I think my generation is coming up in an era where, um, first of all, I mean, entrepreneurship is like booming, right? I mean, that's yeah, everybody sure. wants to be an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to start their own business. Everybody wants to go do those things. Um, and I, I think, but we're also, we're wanting to do that to get the freedom, right? To be able to be like, okay, I want to I want to work really, really hard so then that yeah. way I don't have to work as hard later. Which makes a lot of sense. Or do you feel like, though, in part of that, though, is I want to I make a ton of money really fast because I'm that good and then I'm out and I can do dabble here and dabble there and, and do this type of thing? Just a no, right? I think um, we want to make money really fast. That's obvious but i think it's also partly um where we've come from right we saw i mean some of us saw our parents still struggling yeah um as as the depression the generation after the great depression generation mm -hmm. right yep. they were all taught to like be frugal and whatnot so we we were like well i don't like that i want to go buy my abercrombie jeans instead so they <laughs> yeah they, <laughs> so we've grown up going if i want that i gotta work extremely hard but we've also grown up in the world of, you know, the internet and apps and all these other things. And so it's like, well, if I see an opportunity that I can jump in on a startup or I can jump in on, you know, ground level of really great investment, I want to do it. Right? Yeah. And there's, there's a lot of that. There's and there's a lot of that that you don't even hear about because it never gets anywhere. Right. And it takes a lot of time. People commit to that and then they're here, then they're here, then they're here. And their career is jumping from place to place, hoping to hit that gold mine. Verse, this is really what I want to do. This is unique. This is different, and I can drive it. And that can happen quickly if you see the opportunity. Right. And you do have to go pretty quick to pull that off nowadays, right? Yeah. Because yeah. of technology. Cool. But you still have to have good, clear vision, and you still have to understand there is a ton of work that has to be done to get to that, oh, you just got lucky kind of feeling, the right. people we, we know, right, that you just assume got lucky. Yeah. There's a lot of hard work behind that. And I'm not saying I think your generation is probably one of the hardest working there are. Right. Um, I also feel like there's a lot of, let me run down this path for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me run down this path for a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very uh, hard for my generation, if you will, to connect with that. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's almost like, let me shotgun something out there and see what <laughs> sticks, and that's how I'm gonna become a millionaire. And the millionaire today is not the same as it was 20 years no, ago. No, <laughs> you know, not at all. <laughs> well, and I, I think uh, we're also the generation, and this this could be wrong, but I feel like we're the generation that wants that, but then we also it's we want our cake and we want to eat it too, right? Or we're like, yeah, hey, I want to do I, that. That's the ideal situation, right? Four four hour work weeks, right? Yeah. And that came up during my <laughs> generation, so it's like. Yeah. I, I can't. I can. I can see it where we're. I need 150 grand a year. I'm looking uh, for four hours yeah. a week. Uh. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> it's amazing to me when people talk about like, well, um, they they want to sleep four hours, but they only want to work four hours in the week. But then they also want to, you know. I mean, that's the new thing. Is like, oh, I'm looking for. It's sleep. easy to do. Yeah. So right, I tell you what, I'll give you two hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. Right. I need you to bust your butt that first month. And just just get after it. Then you have a month off type of thing, right? And what's going to happen? Most people say, okay, you're fired now. Yeah. <laughs> you got all that work. And I say that jokingly, but trust is a big part of that. 
Yeah. Do you trust the companies you're at to deliver what they say they're going to? And do we trust the employees to be there when they say they're going to be there and do right. what they're going to do? If you have trust and you have communication, overcomes almost everything, right? But right. work-life balance, especially in the, the, the advertising industry, is it's hard. Mm. You play hard. You work hard. You've got families. I mean, yeah. people complain all the time, oh, I'm missing dinner again. i got to stay work late and do this kind of thing. You can temper some of that, and it's easy to, once you've, when you're new, mm. it's just, wow, I'm in, finally. And it's, it's awesome. When you've been doing it for a long time, it gets old in a hurry. Yes. You have to have that balance piece of it, and it's, it's hard to get sometimes. But I will tell you today, you can do it correctly. Mm. Um, you can do it well. And, yes, you do have to stay late, and you have to work hard, and you have to do all that. But there are other times you don't, right? Yeah. It's, it's a pretty good life, honestly. Or we wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> yeah, agency life isn't bad. Um, the, the thing I love, I think, most about the work-life balance that you have in agency life, and especially when you hit a point in your career where you're in more of a leadership role, mm-hmm. right, is uh, you don't have to be in the office all the time. Like, it's not a 9-to-5, right? It is a work when work needs done, work when you're, you're positioned to do great work, right uh and go take care of the other stuff like pr- prime example right uh is in in our business um if if i'm stressed out about something like oh my gosh i haven't gotten an oil change on my car in like five hundred thousand miles and i need to go do it and i can't and i'm not you focused yeah you need to do it. do it at that point um <laughs> but you're freaking out about something right yeah. in your person we will literally just look at you and be like look something's stressing you out go take care of it come back Right. Yeah. Um, and I think it's important to touch on the comeback. It is. Because you and, gotta come but that out. is also the trust side, right? Because there right. are people that will take advantage of that, right? Oh, absolutely. You can't assume everybody will, right? You have to give people the benefit of the doubt. And when you've been burned a few times, it's hard to do that, right? Yeah. It's one of the hardest things I had to learn going to, the, to our model where it's, it's got to blend. Mm. Um, you're going to be working more than you do anything else. You do that if you go nine to five anyway. Yeah. And, but, but hearing those words, well, I'm, I'm that doesn't sound good. So you're doing it no matter what. That, that's how it works. But can you balance that? Can your family pop in to say hi and they know everybody here and they feel like the company has your best interest and right. really cares about your family? Right. The balance really starts to strike home at that well, point. Well, that's, that's right? culture, right? Yeah. Culture is what defines a lot of that. Like yeah. how, how open are our doors? Are we a cute farm and nobody wants, you know, mm-hmm. it's very shut off. Um, yeah. And if the boss sees you, they yell at you kind of thing. Yeah. Like I think that's a big part of it. I think the environment you foster, right, especially like so – our office has snacks on hand. We got couches we could sleep on. We got um, which is strategic. I've never done that. Right? It's I've strategic. never done that. Uh, well, then you need to start. I, <laughs> okay, I'll be here till two a.m. Uh, and but then, like, I mean, even even the extreme, right? Like, we just really need to decompress. We really need to get out of work. We we have a bar in the back, right? Yeah. Like, if you really need to get out of it. You can. And we even have coffee makers in multiple places in the office. So it's like, you need to get at it. We can get you energized. So yeah. I, I think I think it's the fostering the environment as well that helps with that balance, it, right? It is. But the hard thing is it all of that conversation is still about being here, right? And with what we do, unfortunately, it never shuts off. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't. It's not like you show up, you work, and you go home. Mm. Ideas hit when ideas hit. Um if you got to get it done and you're working late and other people aren't, they don't feel bad for you because it's going to be the reverse as well right. at times. Right. But the balance piece is making sure you're going on vacation, you know, mm-hmm. making sure you're taking time away, making sure you're not neglecting your family, right? right? Um, it's hard, very hard to do in this business, and you have to have a very understanding spouse or significant other to, to really thrive in this business. You have to have that. Yeah. Um, if you don't, um, you'll either love it enough to be divorced or be single forever, or um, you'll leave the business, right. right? And you may be super talented. Neither one's right or wrong. Right. But it's about what are you good at, what do you love, what are you passionate about, then it all starts to dig in together. And if your passion's around work and your family and just your life and your extracurricular and all of that, it's good, but that's where the balance comes in. Which carries more weight, right? Which does what? But yeah. the other side of it is, it's, it's important to remember this is a business too, 
right? And it's not about just having a good time all the time and, oh, I'm a little stressed out today. I'm not feeling great today. Suck it up. Get well, through it. Yeah, that's I mean, that, that's the answer sometimes. Yeah. You shouldn't have to say it to people, but you do sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, that's about having the right people, people and the right culture. But people get burned out, and sometimes they need to take six months off. In our industry, it mm-hmm. could be a killer. Things change so fast. Yeah. It's hard to get back in. So Do you, do you think uh, we've talked about this, you and I personally, uh, off the air? Uh, before, but um, there's there's business Ryan and there's personal Ryan. Yeah. And do you think that's a very common thing within agency life? Just because, like, uh, I don't know if it's agency life. I think it's personalities, right? It? I okay. have to separate them. Yeah. Um, I think I just naturally shift. Yeah, it doesn't change who you are, right. um, but your guards down a little more when you're on your personal time and your mm-hmm. personal side and your friends that are around you can feel more you, if you will. And when you're in business, you're still you. You're always going to be a little more cautious and be careful about what you say. You should, um, especially when you're dealing with clients and employees. Right. You cr- start to cross the line a little bit really quick if you don't delineate that, right? Gotcha. And it could be at home or it could be at work. It could really get you into trouble because if you've switched and the person you talked to hasn't, that can be a big problem. Right. So it's important to also get away from work. That means even the people you work with. You know, and be with your family. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a family here. We always say that. The Glinsters are the family, right? Right. And they are. But I have another family, too, yeah. right? <laughs> well, and, and, and that's the other thing. I think not even just family, right? I mean, you talk about friend group. You talk about all that. Yeah, I mean, you sure. You have an entirely, and I do, too, right. entirely separate yeah. friend group from people that I've even just, like, I'm, I'm part of a young professional group vision, right? Yeah. Uh, and even those guys, I, when I hang out with them, it's still, I think of it as business, right? Um, yeah. To some extent. And you should. There's always an element There's of no some extent. I mean, you should, yeah. because it's about business. And right. here's, here's, how you, here's an easy way to fix that, right? If you change your job, become a car tech, if you will, mm. just picking that out, out of the blue, you're not going to Vision Fort Worth anymore. I mean, you're not. Yeah. It's a different career path. Right. You might be going to a different kind of association, right? Right. And all those people you met there, how many are actually going to still be around? Probably none. Maybe one or two. Yeah. Because the drives are different now, right? That's what makes it about business, right? right? And that's where you start to shift it, right? right? And we get close to people at work. We get really close to clients. We get really close to our family. And it's all genuine and it's all close. Yeah. But it's a different kind of closeness. And you have to have that to get the balance in your life. I believe that's what you have to have. Yeah. You know, to really become well balanced. Otherwise, you could you, you could go off the rails pretty quick. Yeah. You know? and do you think specifically with with agencies, right, um, that it's it's weighted one way or the other? Um, yeah. Like just inherent, right? Oh, like for every sure. single agency really faces yeah. this. As I said, it never shuts off, right? Yeah. And when you hear an opportunity in a conversation at a party, when you see something, you switch and you're on it, right? Right. Doesn't mean you got to dominate and turn into business. Go, hey, I'd love to give you a call on Tuesday. No, just do you mind if I touch base Mm -hmm. with you? You've got that connection. If you're not leveraging your opportunities, that's just foolish, right? This is how you're supporting the life that you want, the one you've decided you want. Mm -hmm. has nothing to do with money. It has to do with the lifestyle you're looking for. And when you're finding those opportunities, opportunities are hard to find. Right. You switch it, you get what you need to, and you switch it back. People can respect that. It's not a big deal. Everybody does it. And because I love what I do, when I do it, I still love where I am and what I'm doing there too. Okay, let's go play ping pong now. Cool. Yeah. We're playing ping pong, and then the conversation comes up. You know, we need to talk about, let's have some fun. You know, our wives are in there. They don't want to hear a business talk, you know, let's go have some fun. Why don't we get, grab lunch on Tuesday or whenever it is? Yeah. Take control of that, yeah. right? Be intentional with what you're doing, right? You, could, you have all the power at that point, right? And you can drive things where you want to go, but a lunch to see if there really is an opportunity from a place that you both had a great time in, right. you can't set up a better opportunity if there's one there to close and move forward with, right? Do you have any... Like if you had one line piece of advice to somebody who's just now starting into agency life of like how to balance that, um, that work life. Like starting when, out. Ooh. Yeah, right? One? I know that was a while ago. Uh, but uh, I can't for remember me, that for me, it's, um, it's, it's specifically like 
recognize that there is a separation. So when I yeah. when I first came out of college and I started working in the agency life, I got really close with one one client. And when stuff went sour, right, uh, because either the time or whatever had like expired on on our contract and we didn't renew with them because right. it wasn't a good fit. Uh, all the, or what they were asking for was not a good fit for us or what happened. Whatever that is. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know even what happened. Right. I was just a digital guy at that point. And so, but I was close with them. It was like they, they were gone, right? Yeah. And I was hurt thinking I had done something wrong, thinking it was me, thinking it, Mm-mm. because it just didn't have that understanding, yeah. right? And I think that's the thing if I, like when I talk to people right out of college, I'm like, you have to understand that there is a business that is happening, Right. And no matter what somebody presents to you, as far as like yeah. I'm your friend, I'm your best friend, I can do, it's still business. If you if you keep around the business side, um, and remember that you're working, um, some of that will help. It still hurts a little bit. It's oh, we're emotional absolutely. people, right? Um, but it is a business first. I think the number one thing you can do is be intentional. Everything, conversations, mm-hmm. what you type, what you say, what you create, have a reason for all of it. Whatever that is, is for you, start there and you'll be you'll be better off for it. And just know this is not easy mm. and it's not fun all the time. This is a drain. It's hard on your body. Yeah. It's hard mentally. I would say maybe lawyers have it a little worse than we do, but the stress levels are probably right underneath that mm. in, my, in my mind. Probably the most stressful jobs you'll ever have in your life. Also one of the most fun. So you get both. Yeah. That's balance, right? No, both are coming. And when it's hard, it's easy to say, I'm going to go get another job and start over. Guess what? You're going to end up in the same spot. Yeah. And I can't tell you how many resumes I get. Six months here, six months here, three here. Maybe they made it to nine or a year. I'm not interested in those people at all. Mm. Because when it gets hard, they get called out. It becomes difficult. They jump ship. They start out and it's fresh and hoorah again. Yeah. And you're right back in that same spot. You want problem solvers. You want people who can grind through it when it gets hard. Everybody can do it when it's easy. Right. You know? So be intentional. I think that's, if I have to put it down to one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a, a great place to leave it. Uh, yeah, it's a great topic, right? And right. it can go to a million places even on, um, you know, work-life balance. So uh, we'd love to hear your, uh, your questions on this, mm-hmm. um, comments for sure. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you can obviously do that um, through the podcast. Um, agency at the com is how you can get a hold of us. Uh, if there's something you want us to talk about, um, let us know. Uh, maybe we'll include it in the podcast. If you just want some feedback or thoughts from us yeah. and what we're about, um, we'll be happy to provide that as well. So appreciate you joining us.